what is going on my friends back again with another super interesting video for you guys today we're going to be doing some stuff with 3d elements i'm going to show you guys how you can create your own 3d character customize it however you would like it to look and then eventually bring it within after effects as always if you guys are new here consider subscribing joining the community leave a like on the video if you do enjoy the content and you would like to see more videos like this kind of talking about more 3d elements or something like that so first off the way we're going to design these characters is we're going to use adobe fuse now i'm guessing the majority of you guys do have the adobe creative cloud so you can actually download that for free if you do have it i'm pretty sure for students it's only like 20 dollars a month so it's pretty cheap to get all of the adobe products so open up fuse what i'm going to do is just break down how you can create your character how you can animate it how you can transfer it into after effects and use it within after effects for all your projects also throughout this i'm going to mention some websites where you can find some customizable packs for fuse so you can get in some different models different clothing a bunch of cool stuff like that so let's start out here i'm going to go ahead and choose a face right here as you can see and it's super easy all you need to do is choose it and it's gonna pop up here and you can just select whatever body type you would like to use and then we can go in and customize all of this stuff so let's just go through here and just kind of build a basic little character and we're just going to select the legs we want if you click on customize you change so much you can make the brows up and down you can change the length of the arms change the length of the muscles so let's go over to clothing and now let's go ahead and choose whatever we would like for them to wear and like i said links down below on some websites where you can either find free models which you can bring into fuse or you can buy some other kind of packs i'm pretty sure there's a whole kind of pack that you can get for free from adobe check out those links below it's definitely going to help you if you do want some more stuff to work off of so i went through and i picked all the clothing that i want to now let's go ahead and just change now let's go ahead and just change the texture of some of this okay guys so i designed the character that i wanted you guys can get creative as you want with this let's go ahead and click send to mixamo you can go ahead and just name this model go ahead and click save and this is going to export that model over to adobe's website which allows you to automatically rig this and animate this yourself all right, so here we are within this auto rigger um, and what it actually did was it went through it did the process for me already sometimes it'll make you kind of put the points on the chin and the arms but it did a really good job and now what we can do is just click finish and then we can go ahead and use this character start picking some preset animations to actually use so this is super useful it's super cool and as you see it has a bunch of already preset animations it does the work for you so like I said this is a super simple way to be able to do this if you don't have that much experience with rigging or doing 3d work and you do want to create your own characters so once you've chosen what you like to do you can actually change the sliders around and customize this animation which is a really cool feature go ahead and click download now what it's going to do is it's going to pop up this little settings window right here the only thing that you want to change here is change frames per second from 30 into 60 and that's just going to make it a more smooth animation then go ahead and click download so it's going to prepare the download just like that and we can go ahead and just save this wherever we would want so i'll just save it here okay so guys now what we're going to do is we're going to convert that file that we got the fbx into an obj and there's a couple ways to do this you can use any 3d software out there such as 3ds max you can use cinema 4d if you guys do know of any way that you can convert this online or using some kind of script without actually owning these kind of things please leave it in the comment section because i've been searching for it but i couldn't find it but anyways i'm going to do this conversion within 3ds okay guys so i am in 3ds max here and now all we need to do is just open up that fbx file that we saved from mixamo so go ahead and just click this button and like i said you can use c4d you can use any other kind of 3d software you just need to know how to convert an fbx into an obj sequence because that's how we're going to get it within after effects so convert it into an obj sequence google however you can do it the way i'm going to do it is i'm about to show you in a second using a quick little script so i'm going to go ahead and open up that fbx sequence and i can show you exactly what it looks like so make sure we're searching for all files and then let's go down here and find it and then let's go ahead and search for um, I named it jumping so we'll search for that we'll open it up once this pops up just go ahead and click OK and then you guys are going to be able to see the actual skeleton breakdown of what the animation looks like so we got in 3ds as you can see all rigged and ready to go if you kind of just drag if you drag along this slider you'll be able to go through the animation now the way that we're going to get this into an obj sequence is using a script download link to the script will be below all you need to do is go up to scripting and then go over to run script and then it's going to pop up and just load wherever you save the script which is down in the description like i said all right so what we're going to do to run that script and convert this into an obj sequence select all of these um, kind of attributes right here that's just going to select all of this and we're going to go to run script go down to the description guys you can download the script con to convert fbx to obj within 3ds max like i said if you guys are using cinema 4d something like maya all you need to do is just google fbx to obj converter for whatever software you're doing it a lot of them actually have it built into 
to the software itself so just a quick little google search will be able to figure it out for whatever software you are using so let's open up that obj exporter and then it's going to pop this up we can we can just click open here and just select wherever we would like to save this so i'm just going to save it on my 3d objects folder right here and just name it jumping animation and as you can see it is an obj which is what we're going to use to import into after effects go ahead and click save and then start at frame zero end at frame 100 that's 100 fine and this is going to go through and it's going to export that fbx as a obj sequence super easy all right so let's hop into after effects now and if you guys really want to you can even go into premiere you can go over to your project bin just make a little transparent video right there drag that into drag that into your premiere timeline drag it out like that the only reason i'm doing this is because now we can right click this and then we can replace this with an after effects composition so now anything we do in after effects will pop up within your premiere timeline so let's go into after effects now now what we're going to do is start putting this all together so let's go ahead into this composition we're going to right click down here in after effects and we're going to go to new and we're going to make a camera and we're just doing this so that we can move within 3d space and see our 3d model so click ok now let's just delete that transparent video let's right click down here and then let's go to new and then let's make a new solid so make just a normal solid throw it on there and then we can go over to our effects and presets now and we can look up element and this is how we're going to import our obj sequence into after effects and then since we have that dy dynamic link you're going to see it go into premiere just like that so you can use element there's also a few other options out there there's a few other plugins that'll allow you to import obj sequences i'm pretty sure that if you have the red giant trap code form you can import obj i'm not actually sure about that so if you do know more just let me know in the comments i just want to show you guys how i do it and just my specific workflow using what i use so let's open up element let's go over to our effect control controls and then click scene setup okay so now we're in element 3d and all we need to do here now is just go up to file and go to import and click import 3d sequence just like that and now let's just go find wherever we saved that obj sequence so i saved mine in my 3d objects folder and here it is all broken into frames you only need to click the very first one and click open it's going to import the entire sequence just like that so click ok and it has all of the textures on it which is awesome we have it all within we have it all within here so you can just reposition that wherever you want you can actually change the star frame just to see the animation is working you have some options down here you can change your playback speed you guys can also go through element 3d and just design your own scene just like that so that is an option that you guys have you can either use the um, starting packs that comes with element or you can just make your own i'm gonna leave down a link below to my playlist talking about my 3d stuff so you guys can learn more stuff about that i have videos talking about how to blend 3d objects within real life if you want to bring this into your own footage that you shot yourself so let's go ahead and click ok and we're going to see this pop up and since we have this camera we can click c on our keyboard and we can move this camera around and rotate it just like this and then we can go ahead and click play check out our animation now this video is just talking about how to bring the 3d objects within after effects if you guys want to see more videos talking about 3d designing the scenes talking about animating the camera anything like that like i said subscribe to the channel check out my playlist below we have a bunch of information out there for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and click file save and then hop back into premiere just to show you guys that through that down through that dynamic link we now have a fully and an animated animated figure within after effects now in premiere so that's how you do it that's my workflow hope you guys enjoy this video leave a like comment subscribe if you did let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would like to see next you guys were voting between this video and the five creative freeze frames five creative freeze frames is coming next guys that's going to be a huge video i want to pack a bunch of awesome information into that into that anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later